we are back and uh, we're about to do Sundays uh, this will be 19 we're gonna do 19 20 and 21 so we're gonna go all the way through the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah plus the other cities yeah, there's more than just Sodom and Gomorrah that get destroyed here but we'll read into it and then uh, we're also going to get into the birth of Isaac as we go through this. Uh, and I said, this is Sundays, I'm pretty sure. So uh, if you're also watching this on Sunday, I just want to let you know at 7 a.m., which this will actually come out after that, we will be on Panama City's channel uh, uh, this Sunday. If you missed it, go back and rewatch it. Um, we are, I think we're going to be discussing the Ten Commandments and the significance behind it. Um, and that'll be with me, Miss Lee, uh, London, Lakeisha, and Don. And then at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, obviously on Eric Burnside's channel, we... Uh, we will be doing Psalms, I think, 70 through 74, if I remember right. I haven't done my studying on it yet, but <laughs> if I remember, that's what we're doing. And plus, we're grilling steaks out of this, this week's Bible study. And I got a good old chubby steak for it. But, uh, so please check those both out. Of course, check out on a like usual. I mean, that doesn't have to be said, but I'm going to say it anyhow. So, all right, before we get into the Word of God, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your Word. Thank you for giving it to us to teach us how to live our lives and to be and to worship you better. Um, help give us discernment and to teach us what you needed to teach us and help it to reach the ears that you needed to reach. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. 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 Quick, in the comments below, what does amen mean? I'd like to see it. All right. Genesis 19, verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned, him, turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he said, and he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house around, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came? into thee this night bring them out to us that we may know them yeah and lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said i pray you brethren do not so wickedly behold now i have two daughters which have not known man let me i pray you bring them out unto you and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourn, sojourn, sojourn and, he, and he will needs be a judge now will we deal worse with thee than with them 
And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou where any besides? Son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and what, what Soever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxed great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his son, sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid a hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. And the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither, neither stay thou in all the plain, Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, Own, own not so, my lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also that I will not overthrow this city for the, for the which thou hast spoken. Hasten thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zor. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered in Zor. Then the Lord reigned upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord and looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain and beheld and lo the smoke of the country went up as a smoke of a furnace and it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when the when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. And Lot went up out of Zorah and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zorah, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and 
there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that he, we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father, and he perceived not when she lay down, but when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesterday night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie with him, that he that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him. And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both of the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bare a son, and called his name Moab. And the, the same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger she also bare a son, and called his name Benamai, which is the same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day. Chapter 20 verse 1. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country and dwelled between Kadesh and Shudder and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarai, Sarah. And God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, She is my sister? And she even, she herself said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also will tell thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that, know that thou shalt surely die, though and all that are thine. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears, and the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and my kingdom a great sin. Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest you that thou hast done this thing? And Abraham, because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And Yet indeed she is my sister, she is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God 
caused me to wander from my father's house that I said unto her, This is thy kinlet, kindness, which thou shalt show me at every place whither we shall come. Say of me, he is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servant and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee, dwell where it pleaseth thee. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee, and with all other. Thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his manservants, and they bare children. For the Lord hath fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Sarah Abraham's wife. Alright, 21 verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarai, uh, Sarai, I keep calling her Sarai, it's Sarah now. <laughs> and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God hath made me laugh so that all that here will laugh at me or laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the children grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman, and all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and the bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and the child and the child, and sent her away. And she departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs, and she went and sat her down over against him a good way off as it were a bow shot for she said let me not see the death of my child and she sat over against him and lift up her her voice and wept and God heard the voice of the lad and the angel of the Lord called unto Hagar out of heaven and said unto her what aileth thee Hagar Fear not, for the for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thy hand, for I will make him 
a great nation. And God opened her, opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him and wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and, P and Picoro, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. <clears throat> now therefore swear unto me here by God that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's sons, but according to to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me, and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I swear, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I wot not who hath done this thing. Neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it, but today. And Abraham took sheep and ox and gave it to unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs, which thou have set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swear both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba, and Abimelech rose up, and pick and pickle pickle <laughs> pitchel the captain the chief captain of his host and they returned into the land of the Philistines or Philistines and Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba and called there on the Lord on the name of the Lord the everlasting God and Abraham sojourned in the Philistines land many days. There we are. That is Sunday done. Next will be 22, 23, and 24. 24 is a long one. You didn't hear me talk for a long time. Next one. Holy buckets. Hope you're ready for that one. Oh. The story of Abraham is always such an interesting one. All the ups and downs, all the stupid decisions he makes, but still he walked with God and he was God's chosen. So it just goes to show you, even God's chosen make lots of mistakes. So you're going to make mistakes too. So I'm going to make mistakes, probably more than you. But just remember, God made a new covenant with us with his son Jesus Christ by him we are saved if thou confess your sins he will forgive but you gotta confess them first alright well that's it for today don't forget about the bible studies I talked to you about we do them every Sunday and of course pick up Annika and I'll catch you next time. Never forget Genesis 9-3.